What is up guys? Thardum from back again, also known as the Black Gentleman. And today on my look back on um Titan Return, I'm doing another one of my favorites, uh Trigger Happy. And um this trigger happy is uh, pretty cool. Uh first things first. Let's take a look at them. Bring them a little closer here. And what you may notice first things first is the fact that he has paint. <laughs> I mean, actual, actual real deal, honestly, got paint. And, believe it or not, unlike Scourge, I mean, I, I know I'm going to go to it this early, but he has, uh, as you can tell by that mushroom peg right there in the center. Waste rotation. Yeah, waste rotation. Okay, anyway, the figure himself. Uh, he looks really good, but it looks really good uh, from the front, side, and the back. Has a really good profile all the way around. Also, as you can see, his guns can uh, essentially store anywhere. I'm keeping it here on the back. I'll can just pull these off of these uh, five millimeter pe five millimeter holes right here. Let's see. Get them out of there. Move them out of the way. All on the subject here. Oops, totally fell. Be all right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the guns themselves are just a uh, one hole piece. There's some pretty good definition and detail there. No paint though, but it's just part of the course for the for the Titan Return figures. And both are identical. And they can be, I believe they can be paid together, can they? Actually no, these are not paid together. Strange. Oops, kind of shocked actually. But oh well. They still look good all the same. But they could stand a splash of paint. That is it for accessories. Although, um, cool trick, and this is mostly because of transformation, you can flip the hand inside and bring the gun down from the spacecraft mode. So you get a whole gun arm thing here, which is pretty cool. Matter of fact, you can do it on both sides, actually. Which is a really good look for him. And, you know, <clears throat> with a name like Trigger Happy, I mean, you got to bring the guns, am I right? As for his, uh, get that fist out of there. Now we go back, we go back to that whole paint deal. Come on, fist. He has paint on his face, which is uh, for red, red for the visor, and a little bit of red for the uh, bridge of the nose. Also has gold painted eyes, has gold accents on his chest. And a little bit of silver paint here on the sides, and a white uh, such kind of symbol, which looks really good. It sets off really nice on him. Has blue paint on his uh, tail fins right here on his legs. Silver paint here on the shins here, and more gold accents here on besides feet. And I thought, if I'm not mistaken, it has this kind of gop uh, copperish gold paint here on the thrusters on his arms which also look really good and if you use your imagination this can also too double the double as guns he has that on both sides and on his wings he has a uh, white paint with uh, white uh, blue trim on the outsides and it's constable so all in all pretty good paint job so good on Hasbro for that for articulation his arms can go all the way up to here on both sides he has a bicep swivel though it is though it is hindered by the back wing here as you can see but let's see the gun out you can just about get it this have a wrist, wrist articulation though it can't swivel it can be bent up like this due to transformation of course <clears throat> head because he's a titan master he can spin 360 Waist rotation, um, light scourge. <laughs> it gives you the full 360. Mine's pretty tight, which I like. I don't want it to be too loose. Legs can bend at the knee. Gets a full kick itself in the ass if you're into that. Feet can articulate. You get a nice toe blend. It again, mostly because of, mostly because of transformation. Also has a heel which too can be bent. 
it again because of transformation. And you can also open full trial. Delivering the goods, the full spread. <laughs> now as for for some comparisons, I got <clears throat> let's get this guy standing first. I got my buddy Scourge here. So you can see how he stacks up. Also, if anyone's, if anyone's curious, these are all deluxes, so they're all they're all essentially the same. But that's how was, that's how we look with his uh, Patriot. Hey, ah, I can't talk today. Um, Sipticon buddy, Scourge, comrades, as you were, and uh, I wish I had the Takar version because he actually can because he comes with a um, Target Master. Uh, in the original cartoon, uh, Trigger Happy was a Target Master, not a Headmaster. But speaking on Headmasters, because that's, it, cause that's what he is now, or Titan Master, the head comes right off. And just like Scourge, Chrome Gnome, and all the rest, transformation is very easy. As far as his Titan Master goes, I believe his name is Blowpipe, which is the same name of, of his uh, Target Master gun, you know, if, if he had one. Sadly, he has absolutely no paint. But I can forgive that, for only because <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not that big on Trigger Happy being a headmaster anyway. So it's all good. It's for me. Yeah, put that back on there. His head actually stays on pretty good compared to a uh, uh, scavenger. Because, I mean, a scavenger, but a scourge. Can we shake him? He just bobble heads. But him, it's pretty good. No shaking here. All right. So, I think I showed you guys about everything I need to show you as far as robot mode goes. Just give me a second here. Using the power of my editing magic, I'll turn this guy into assault mode. Be back in a flash. The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. And we're back again. And I have to say, the transformation for this guy is um, pretty cool. Got some good engineering involved there. Uh, heavily different from what I was used to at the time this thing came out. Um, now, talk about this thing's cooler features. Similar to Chrome Dome, he has a uh, cockpit here, which is kind of hard. Oh, never mind, I got to it the first try. But if you can't get this thing open, it's sometimes easier just to go ahead and break the sculpt here to fit the figure in. Take his headmaster. Or Titan Master, excuse me. And your fold is in and close it down. Fits in there really well. Also has landing gear, which is really cool. Sadly, no paint there, but that could be remedied fairly easy. Uh, <clears throat> this thing looks really good. It's very, very, very close to what the G11 was. I never owned it as a kid, but I always, I always wanted it. I always thought it looked cool. Had that kind of cool X-wing kind of look to it. All in all, it's a very cool um, space cruiser. And I think all the pink accents come through very well. Take a closer look. All the nice <clears throat> all nice pink trim here on the wings. Looks really good. All that gold accents looks very well. Uh, as you can see through here where it used to be his chest here and the legs here. All blends in really good, including the back tail fins the shin pieces here. Also, even copy has a, little, has a little bit here. I think it'd be kind of nice if this had kind of went up a little bit further, all the way up, all the way up to the cockpit itself. Been pretty nice. Now back to those guns. These can be mounted essentially anywhere as a five millimeter port. But you have uh, <clears throat> so you have two. So you have one option here on the wing, option here on the other wing, and you have let's see. You also have an option here on a. If I can get here on camera in that back on this gun barrel here although I think it I don't know if, let's see nope it would totally impede itself so with that being said I think your best option is to plug in here on the wing like this which also kind of doubles as landing gear in a way so if you pop out your landing gear again it sits pretty good I really dig it. This is actually uh, one of my favorite ones, Titan Return. Only surpassed by <clears throat> one other. And when I mean one other, 
a couple of brothers who I'm going to get to probably on the next video. As for so as for a size comparison, let's bring in Scourge again. Looks very, very, very cool. I can totally see these guys flying through space together. He kick it all about ass. very good I have to say um, trigger happy for me knocks it out I mean um, I love the, I love the robot mode I love the alt mode honestly if I had a um, if I had one of those Toshimi Tamashi flight stands what they call uh, I would love to plug one here with, with the five millimeter port is and just leave them in alt mode I mean it looks that good most transformers are just leave them robot mode but this one's this one's alt mode is definitely Different class act. I really like it. So, if you guys give me another moment, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and transform him back and give you uh, my last verdict on him. Although, I guess you can kind of tell what's going to be, right? <laughs> I've been kind of gushing over him pretty good. But anyhow, get back in a second. Alright guys, then we're back. And because I forgot to show earlier, uh, I made sure I plugged his guns in. As you can see, he holds them just fine. But, you know, I always have to cover all my bases when doing these reviews. But uh, as my final thoughts on this thing goes, um, he's awesome. He's one of the crown jewels, in my opinion, of Titan's Return. And totally worth the price of admission. Everything was good on him. Transformation's cool. Alt mode's cool. Robot mode's nice. Comes with plenty of firepower. What's not to like? Plus his name is, hell, his name is awesome. Trigger Happy. I mean, it's a pretty cool name. But yeah, if you can find him, definitely pick him up. Uh, I definitely would try to keep it, if you're going to buy him at this point in time, I would definitely try to get him around retail price or lower. Uh, I think he's pretty, I think he's pretty abundant out there. Um, I went to a uh, gamer's alley today, actually. Uh, if you want to check out that review uh, of that place. I believe they actually had one. He was he was priced around I think 14, 15 bucks. Definitely a fair price for it. But anyhow, I must be going. Please like, share, and subscribe. You guys are awesome. Like I said before, I'm, uh, hopefully I'm um, I'm trying to get to 100 uh, by end of the month. We'll see if that happens. Uh, I plan to do a giveaway once I hit that. But this has been Sardo Noonspa, the Black and Gentleman. Out here doing God's work, reviewing these figures. Until next time, peace out. Oh, I didn't know.